Are you listening? Welcome to the Nerf Report. My name is Bryant. And for today's show, let's talk about Amazon Luna, who, if you were not aware, is celebrating their six-month anniversary since launching the cloud gaming platform tomorrow. Six months. Wow. Felt like it was just yesterday. Anyway, for today's show, I thought that it would be beneficial to kind of come back down from the clouds, if you will, and talk about what my experience has been like with Luna over the last six months. And if this is your first time hearing about Luna, Luna is a cloud gaming platform from Amazon. For $5.99 a month, users have access to over 79 games that you can stream to your PC, Android, Apple devices, and compatible Fire TV devices. And I guess as far as my overall experience has been, I have nothing but praise for Amazon Luna. The service works and Quite frankly, when I pay $5.99, I guess at the end of the day, that's all that I expect. But when I'm playing games on my PC or streaming to my Fire Stick, honestly, the games feel close enough to playing games on my PlayStation that I don't even know if I could tell the difference. And as far as the size of the overall game library, sure, they don't have as many games as PlayStation or Xbox, but there are plenty of really fun games included with Luna, like Control, Brothers, Everspace, Ghost Runner, Super Mega Baseball 3, the Ukulele series, and just last week, they added Call of the Sea. Plus, one of the things that makes Luna unique is that they offer these things called channels, which are additional subscriptions that users can pay for that give you access to a developer's entire library of games. For example, Ubisoft Plus is $14.99 a month, and with it, you can play games like Assassin's Creed Valhalla, Rainbow Six Siege or Immortals Phoenix Rising and it's going to be extremely interesting to see what other developers embrace this option as time goes on. But if you're the type of gamer who wants exclusives, well, Amazon doesn't really have exclusives per se. I think they're joined with other cloud gaming platforms who are trying to compete on the ease of accessibility. And we should probably point out also that, you know, technically Luna is still in beta, so we're still not seeing a final product. In fact, a ton of countries don't even have access to Luna yet as currently it's only available in the United States. But if I were going to make a prediction, I have to think that by the end of 2021, we are going to see more countries included in the Luna beta, along with probably some brand new features coming to the service as well. And if anything, when it comes to Amazon Luna, I think the things that get me most excited is the potential that the platform has. Like Luna has two massive weapons in their arsenal with Amazon.com and Twitch. Think about it, with Amazon.com, there is a huge potential for Luna to allow users to capitalize on that play instantly feature. You know, I foresee a day that when shoppers go to buy video games on Amazon, they will see the physical, the digital options, along with a button that says play instantly on Luna. And when we're talking about Twitch, keep in mind, we've only seen minimal integrations with the platform. Twitch is by far the highest viewed platform for live stream gaming content. So Amazon has a massive marketing tool with thousands of partners and affiliates who could also receive benefits or a percentage of sold games on Luna. But going back to the topic of exclusives, you know, they still haven't written that off. You know, do we see Amazon go out like Stadia and buy timed exclusives? Does Amazon continue down the route of content creation? You know, even though they've kind of hit a bumpy road with things like the cancellation of the Lord of the Rings game, along with the various issues that Amazon ran into with the New World and the Crucible. And I guess for those reasons, I'm remaining pretty optimistic because Amazon, if anything, isn't afraid of shelling out money for content. I mean, in 2020, the company spent an estimated $11 billion on movies, TV, and music. And on top of that, Amazon spends roughly $500 million a year on video game development. So they are clearly committed to the gaming industry. And the other takeaway from all of this is Amazon currently has 200 million Prime subscribers, and Luna could easily become part of that offering. 
instantly increasing Amazon Luna's player base and the value of the platform for developers. And overall, I'm really enjoying my time with Amazon Luna. I think it's extremely easy to use. You can use whatever controller you want. Uh, they keep bringing games to the platform that intrigue me and I definitely think that it has its place, you know, for gamers, but uh, it's going to be interesting to see, you know, six months from now when we're talking about the one year anniversary of Luna, you know, what's changed. But uh, I guess to, to wrap this all up, uh, what has your experience been like with Amazon Luna? Uh, have you tested it out? Have you played games? What games have you played? Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Hey, thanks again for checking out our channel. If you like what you saw and you want to see more content just like it, which who wouldn't, uh, hit the subscribe button right there. And while you're down there, hit the like button. Maybe even consider becoming a Nerf Report best friend, just like the people listed down below did. In fact, don't you want to see your name there? I know I do.